What's going on, peeps? Still boy, Henny Wrestling. Grown man who loves God and wrestling. First and foremost, Happy New Year's to each and every one of you guys. Uh, may the Lord's favor be upon you guys. May the Lord's mercy and grace be upon you guys in this year's 2023. Um, you guys already saw Invictus Pro Wrestling. Now we're on to the second show of the night, and that's with the Fallout Shelter IFC Heat. Hell Seekers, excuse me, Hell, Se Hell Seekers. Um, I was concerned at first because I thought I was going to miss a couple of matches, but um, I came in just in time. So after the Invictus, I went to my boy's um, neighborhood. We kicked in, we talked a little bit. Then I went to one of the Chinese spots, just get me a half a chicken because I was hungry as heck. And then came and there was no pre-match or anything. So I was like, thank you, Lord, that I'm able to, you know, see the whole show. But uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for every video that I post. You guys be the first ones to know. Um, don't, for, don't forget to hit the like button because if you don't, the YouTube algorithm is not going to help me at all. So please hit the like button. Um, I'll leave all the link in the description below so you can follow me on all my social media platforms. Um, you can forget about TikTok. I'm done with TikTok. I'm trying to find a way to delete that. I'm not even using TikTok anymore. But um, yeah, guys, with that being said, Enjoy the first half of the show, and I'll see you guys at intermission. <laughs> you know what? How about this? Oh, oh Lord. Oh, no. yeah. oh. oh. Hey. Hey. Come on. What? I'm doing my job. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why you gotta make him break a character? Yo, Nicola, why you gotta make him break character, bro? Oh. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Drink more water. Drink more water.
Bro! Two drop kicks. One more, one more. Oh. It's not happening today. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! Let's go! Oh! Bye! 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 Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Are you all right? He'll be fine. Oh! Whoa! 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 What the hell did I just saw? What the hell did I just saw?
Osito, así no, así no. Dirty ref, dirty ref, dirty ref, dirty ref.
Paid in full, all right. I'm gonna say heal. Oh gosh, I'm off right now today, <laughs> and I'm, I'm good. God is good. Um, Nikolai White versus Vinny Pacifico. That was a heck of a match. Um, Nikolai White getting the dub. Um, then you had the uh, Fatal Four Way Tag Team match. Um, it looked like they had. It looked like there was like last minute replacements because Viral and um, Ham was supposed to be there, but we'll talk about what the hell happened. Um, Spice, who the heck turned Spice into Monty Brown? That young lady turned to Monty Brown and just pounced everyone. I mean, I just felt bad for her partner because she was pouncing everybody. Like, yeah, I see, I see Steve Pena <laughs> on the other side. He's like, yeah, like cheering. And then 
<laughs> just pounce her own partner. Oh man, but um, Casey and um, well, is it no Bambino and um, I think London Hernandez or something like that. They they pick up the win. Um, then you had Santi versus Gamble. That was one heck of a that was one heck of a match. Um, unfortunately, uh, I just uh, this uh, the last Invictus. It was tough because it was him versus Bougie. And then this one here was even tougher because it's him and Santi, and it's like, ah. But um, he'll bounce back. Like, Gamble's going to be a problem in, in New York City when it comes to professional wrestling. That kid is going to be a problem. Like, yeah, keep, yeah, keep looking at the L's, but he'll take your head off. I guarantee it. <laughs> then you have Project Mayhem, um, Elijah, and um, Osito. Finally get to meet Osito in person, even though this is like his alter ego. But I uh, finally get to meet him in person. Um, they faced Viral and Ham, and um, they pick up the win. And then you had Fight or Die against um, the Philly. Um, I forgot these guys' name. They're from, from, they're from Philly. I can't trash talk to save my life. When it comes to wrestling, I can't trash talk. I got to know when to trash talk, but I can't do it. Because, dog, the amount of trash talk these, fan, these fans gave to those tag teams, to this tag team guys from Philly. Oh my goodness. What the <laughs> I'm like, yo, I, I'm like I'm looking at them like yo, I don't know them. <laughs> but all in all, amazing first half. We are going to the second half of Hellseekers. And it's gonna be banger after banger after banger after banger. Enjoy.
Then he is representing <laughs> Young, Tom, and Broke and uh -oh. playing out of Portland, Oregon. He weighed in this evening at 190 pounds. The Blood Diamond, Ellis Taylor. Young, go, Young, go, and Broke. Young, go, Young, go, Young, go, and Broke. And finally, he is fighting out of the avenue of the strongest in New York City. He stands at six foot seven, six. Yo, stop capping, bro. Stop capping. Stop capping. Stop capping. He is a lady defending Battle Club Nemesis Battleweight Champion, the Colossal Mike Hawaii. Colossal. 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 Yo! That's not right. That's not right. I mean, he's the champion. Oh! 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 oh. Yeah, you! Get this guy to break out of here. Oh. Okay, Cosmic. Okay, Cosmic. Whoop, whoop. Ah, now she took a knee. Never mind. Oh, he gone.
Oh, snap. Oh, crap. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, Nikolai! <laughs> That's it! That's it!
Oh boy. Oh gosh.
just want the gold. This will now be for the remarkable wrestling better than the best championship. The better than the rest heavyweight championship.
welcome to the main event of Battle Club Pro and Inferno Fight Club's Fallout Shelters Hell Seekers. This match will be contested for the Battle Club Franchise Championship. Introducing first, in the corner to my right, the challenger. He is an international superstar from Kalispell, Montana, weighing 208 pounds, the unreal mercenary, Flip Gordon! <laughs> and his opponent, he is accompanied at ringside by the pretty little problem, Shorty fucking Lee! He is fighting out of the South Bronx, New York, and weighing 225 pounds. He is the reigning, defending, Battle Club franchise champion, the finisher, Steve Bingham! Yeah. Finisher! 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 Let's go! Hey, before we have this match, I need to get something off my chest. Okay. Oh boy. You see, for the longest time now, we've all been lied to. We've all been told that the earth is round. Oh, oh, okay, Kyrie Irving. Okay. Okay, Kyrie Irving. Look at this kind of crack over there. And I'm here to tell Christ. you the truth. <laughs> the earth is flat. This, this guy is Frank over here. But I'll tell you what's not flat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hard again, I see, huh?
the world is now flat. <laughs> I get it. And I'm still the Battle Club Pro Franchise Champion. <laughs> yeah, my man, you can put me all you want. You still lost. Now we lost. We tapped out. Flip tap out. Flip tap out. Go like something much, homie. Now, all the funny shit aside. Battle Club Pro runs New York fucking city. Yeah. Let me see that, because there's nothing new. The day I won these titles, I said I want the best. Now, as much as this guy's a piece of shit, I did the best. <laughs> so thank you. I successfully defended my title, now on to the next. With this around my shoulder, I have the liberty to call whoever I'm going to call out. Okay. You know who you are, you're back there right now. Uh oh. Jordan Oliver! Oh! Shop off some nuts. And come out to me for this title. Alright peeps, that concludes Hellseekers, Fallout Shelter, and IFC collab. I'm going to see if I'm able to go to IFC on this year. It depends on the date and depends on my free time because a lot of things going on in 20, well not a lot of things, but it's like there's certain things going on in my life in 2023 that it's like, I love you wrestling, but it might be the last one, <laughs> my last thing in my life until further notice Whew. man lord have mercy but um phenomenal show you just saw the six-way um title match um the kid from young dumb and broke impressed me um cosmic yo we need a chance she's my favorite come january 21st we need to do it i don't care she ripped she i think this is one of her biggest matches of her career so far if i'm not mistaken because she is facing trisha door for the bacon Icon's title. Right now it's between Trisha Door and um, Cosmic and I think it's gonna be a lot of questions for Cosmic because Cosmic is good. She's pretty good. Like she impressed me when she faced um Killian McMurphy. She was supposed to face um Harlow, but she didn't show up. But when she faced Killian McMurphy, I was like, yo, she went to Platinum Fitness and bench press or something, but like she's trained very well with um Fallout Shelter. I think I saw a video, she's super she German suplexed the hell out of Chris Barton. I was like, whoa, where did that come from? So um, she's in good hands with Fallout Shelter. There's going to be a lot of questions with, Co with, with, Cosmic, with Cosmic. I forgot to mention, Federated did not show up and faced um, Project Mayhem. So I don't know when they're going to face each other, but they were supposed to have that tag team match at the first half of the show. Um, and you got the six-way tag team, the six-way tag team match. Um, we got um, Team Matt also, Kuzo and David, they pick, they pick up the win. Um, then you have Ruthless Wild Life versus Sam Chaos. That's one of the matches I was really looking forward to um, in this show. And they really beat the crap out of each other. Sam Chaos said, forget your entrance, forget everything. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> They both did their thing. Um, shout out to Lala. She really gave props to um, to Sammy. And I would love to see them face each other again. It doesn't matter whether it's in Battle Club, IFC, Seek Shelter. Like I would love to see. The, I would love to see. I would love to see them face each other. Like, whoo, that's two big moments right there. <laughs> then you have the triple threat match. Um, Jordan Oliver, Smiley, and Gabe Sky. Now. This wasn't a normal triple threat. This was for the remarkable heavyweight title. Um, heck of a triple threat match, yo. There was sequence that I was like, ooh, ooh, like it was fire. But Gabe Scott picks up the win, so he picks up two W's at that night. He defeat Nikolai, Nikolai White, sorry Nikolai, and then he wins the um, the triple threat and retains um, the belt. He has a big task at hand coming up January 14th. Um, I think he's facing Ken Broadway for the fourth time 
at Remarkable Wrestling. So he faced Ken Broadway at Pro Wrestling Magic. He faced Ken Broadway at Invictus Pro Wrestling. That's one of the matches that me and the Figure King um, sponsor um, early in 2022. I forgot what other matches they they had. I forgot what other matches they faced each other. And now they're gonna fit. And now they're gonna face each other again at Remarkable Wrestling. Originally it was supposed to be him and Myra Reed. Once again, if you hear the background noise, I sincerely apologize. It was supposed to be him and Myra Reed. Gabriel Sky, Myron Reed, and I don't know what happened, but um, we're gonna see Sky and um, Ken Gordon once again at Remarkable Wrestling January 14th. And then the main event the finisher Steve Pena versus um, Flip Gordon for the franchise title. Um, this dude Gordon's out here talking crazy. He he turned to Kyrie Irving. And you see Nikolai White in the background being a cheerleader because he just simply because he said the earth the earth is flat. And then he disrespected um Jordy Lee. I'm like, <laughs> I forgot, I don't know if it was Spice or someone in the back saying, she is a she just a child. I was like, what? I was like, yeah, she, she is a child. No, it's not. But then she had to hit then, then she had to hit the the then she had to hit this to flip Gordon and say, Dip crap Gordon gets no stitches. Well, she used the B word, but I try to keep it PG. I'm like, don't say that because if he walks in the Bronx, if he walks around the Bronx, if he walks around in Brooklyn, if he walks around Queens, I don't know about Manhattan, but it don't, but out of the out of the five boroughs, three of them, FIBA's gonna like they're gonna be the ones gonna need a neck brace, cause like cause like Flip Gordon's a good looking guy. Like pause, but he's a good looking guy. You know, and it's like, yeah, I will say that, but it was just for the, it's the fun of the show and things of that nature. It was a fun match. Flip Gordon tapped out. I thought Pena was going to beat him um, pinfall or like elbow him till he's knocked out or put him to sleep. But um, Flip Gordon tapped out. So Pena called out Jordan Oliver. It's gonna be a crazy match. You talking about speed versus power? Like Pena can move, but Oliver is like. So it's gonna be a banger match. My phone almost fell. Like I'm sorry about that, guys. But that's gonna be a banger match. Um, Pena versus um Oliver. I don't know when that's going to happen, but that's gonna be a banger match. All in all, the two shows was amazing. I enjoyed. Um, I just wish I had food. <laughs> Um, I should have got food and intermission and then and Invictus because bro, I couldn't keep up. Like I was done. Like done done. You know, but like I I, I ramped I ramped up for um health seekers and things of that nature. And I'm glad I was able to I was able to come back to New York safe and sound because going to New Jersey, I have no problem. Coming back from New Jersey is a pain in the neck. So all my people that go to Richfield Park, New Jersey. You either have a car or someone can take you a ride or put a hundred dollars on the side or put a hundred dollars on the side depending where you live at because these buses doesn't run 24 7 and if you miss one of those buses you might have to wait an hour or you might have to wait the next day quote unquote so it's like it's a risk it's a high risk high reward type of thing but like i said bye to everyone i was able to get the bus thank you jesus and got here safe and sound but um with that being said make sure you like subscribe hit the notification bell for every video that i post you guys be the first ones to know don't forget to hit that like button because if you don't the youtube algorithm is not going to help me so hit that like button all my social media platforms is going to be in the link description below through linktree i keep forgetting to say through linktree first show of the year um I was supposed to go to Warriors of Wrestling because my boy wanted to meet um Mr. Kennett. Well, Mr. Anderson, but he was doing that Mr. Kennett in WWE. That is out of the window. I mean, I could go, but it's like, I'm trying to go to Mania 40. Now, if Vince McMahon, for some doggone reason, takes over creative control, then throw that out of the throw that out of the window. I'm not going to Mania 40. But I'm trying to I'm trying to go to Mania 40 um come next year. But the first show of the year is gonna be Battle Club Pro. Welcome to New York City. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know it's official. I'm sponsoring the unified champ known as the finisher, Steve Penny. This day is going to be amazing, but I'm going to let you guys to take 
witness January 21st. Or you could watch on Time Action Network and you could witness right there on that phone, TV, tablet, iPad, whatever the case may be. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, happy New Year. Whatever goals you have for this year, no, ain't no, no manifest, no manifestation, no throwing, no. Let me throw this to the stars or satellite, um, direct TV dish. Let's no, none of that is going to work if you don't put in the work. None of that is going to happen if you don't take the first step. Quit all this hot garbage that is going on in in this generation today. You want something? Go get it. You want it? You want something? Find a way to find a way to do it. If it has to, if you have to delay a couple of months to get it, then do it. Because trust and believe. Because trust and believe. I'm delaying January to stack up not only for Mania but to go back to the boxing gym and be consistent. I'm doing that. And if you have to like delay to stack up, whatever the case may be, do it. Do it. Because all this manifestation and, and hell Mary they ain't gonna do it unless you do the work, unless you put in the consistency, unless you put in your mind, yo, we're gonna do this. I'm just throwing that out there. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy, Henny Wrestling. Grown man who loves God in wrestling. Take witness. God bless. I'll see you guys. And welcome to New York City.